Zool Zoom, V now Fredache, the Sims, and when last we left off, Samuel has a new goal in life, and that is to gain three more family friends so that he can have a chance at gaining one more promotion, because he's happiest when he's working towards a goal, and gaining a promotion at work is quite a goal indeed. But we're going to leave Samuel to that today, while we focus on Dave, and the fact that he has four friends compared to Samuel's too. I imagine Samuel is quite envious of that right now, as that would mean that Samuel would only need to gain one more if he had the friends that Dave does. But Dave is about to go to work, and I imagine he's going to have to go and pay some bills today. They're probably going to turn up very soon. They tend to turn up in the uh, early afternoon. We're just going to wait and see when they actually do arrive, so would I know for future. Is it three o'clock? It is three o'clock that they turn up. Which is great, and also not great because they're bills that we have to pay. We're going to wait for Dog here, and unfortunately the uh, carpool is uh, being blocked by a dog. We'll just get rid of that so that the dog moves, and then hopefully the car will leave. Hello Dog, how are you? Are you well? We just went to work, and now we're going to go and pay the bills. If only that dog would move, eh? That dog is never going to move. It will just stay there forever. Actually, it's probably not going to stay there forever. We could always shoo it away. That would certainly work. Let's pay these bills and then go and uh, do what we want to do. Actually, let's just shoo that dog away right now because Fifi appears to be uh, intent on staying there and just blocking the road. If you wouldn't mind leaving, that would be fantastic. There we go, and now we're blocking the road. Don't worry, we'll move a lot faster than the dog did. I think it's time for us to uh, ring Yvette and say hello. Energy is not that fantastic right now. We could always take a day off work to uh, focus on talking to Yvette, which might actually be quite a good idea. But look at that relationship between Dave and Dog. It's absolutely fantastic. We're just going to have a conversation here, and then ignore all of these other friendships. I mean, we could talk to Samuel, but chances are we'll be ringing far too late in the evening, and he won't be happy about that at all. Which does make sense, because when Samuel gets in from work, he is really, really tired. What can we have Dave do right now? I mean, we could have him work on a few things, but uh, right now he's working on improving this relationship. So realistically, we should have actually uh, rung to have her uh, come over, but he is far too tired for that. Far too tired indeed. All right, and that should be a significant plus. There we go, all the way up to 99, which is brilliant. And I actually think that you going to bed now would be a good idea. We could have you skip work tomorrow. Who needs work, eh? You have 1,440 simoleons. That's quite possibly the largest amount of just spare cash that you've ever had. Ever. We're going to uh, change the perspective here to how it normally is. And then we're going to think about what to do the next day from now. And it will soon be the next day from now. It is now the next day from now. We'll wait for our energy to be a pretty much maximum, and I think it's a brilliant time to get up right now at four in the morning. Brilliant. Have breakfast. Uh, flushing that might not be a great idea, but um, we'll have you use that, and then take a shower, which will be fantastic. And then, I don't know, maybe you should just call Yvette and uh, see if she'd like to come over and say hi. It can't hurt, after all. And you're taking quite a while to get up. That bed is indeed very comfortable. I wouldn't want to leave it, that's for sure. All right, are you going to have a complaint? No, you are not, which is good. At least that isn't happening anymore. Have a hearty breakfast, Dave, and prepare for the day ahead, for you are going to have quite a day indeed. Here we go, one delicious meal. You may even order pizza when Yvette comes over. Maybe, just, you know, for old time's sake. She may comment on the various pieces of art that you have around. Imagine Dave being like, look, I bought this art. And Yvette goes, is that backed with cardboard? And he's like, yes, but only the finest cardboard. I'm not sure how impressed she'd be at that. But hey, it's worth a try. All right, we're just dealing with these two needs here. And then you'll ring Yvette and ask her to come over. And then forget that you have work. It's probably for the best, after all. Work can sometimes be difficult. They can just, you know, do all the other things while you're not there. They may even get the stunt double to do all the stunts for the movie. Then again, I 
have to presume that Dave is actually doing all of his own stunts, because he is in a B-movie, and they probably can't afford a stunt double. Alright, why don't you come over and say hello, eh? Why not? There we go. And yes, indeed, she will come over, which is brilliant. And you might as well actually uh, call for a pizza. Why not, eh? Why not? It's only 40 simoleons, you have plenty of money. And we'll wait for a dog to uh, come over and beg for something. We've no idea what, but we'll let him do it anyway. We've no idea what you want, dog, whatsoever. Ah, you brought flowers with you. That's really nice and considerate. We have nowhere to put them whatsoever. But we will greet you and take those flowers off your hands. I have no idea where to put them. We could put them here if we buy a small table. And then we'll need to greet the pizza man. Why not, eh? Thank you very much for those flowers. They're lovely. We're just going to put them right here. And then we're going to greet the pizza guy. And take this pizza, which is far, far more important. Be nagged? I really don't think we want that interaction to uh, happen, because that would be a rather bad interaction. Why don't you come in here? Why don't you actually... Are you going all the way round? You... You're just putting that right there. We're going to put that here. And we're going to put this uh, here on the floor. Why not? Be nagged is an interaction we definitely don't want to have happen. We're going to go inside and look at the difference of mood here. Room is absolutely non-existent outside, but inside it is fantastically high. Which has improved Dave's mood here from one in the green to three in the green. Why don't you grab a slice of pizza, eh? And ignore the fact that you're going to be going to work, because you are not going to be going to work whatsoever. Not even slightly. Alright, we can't actually do any interactions right now. I wonder why. Maybe it's the angle at which we're at. Maybe. There we go. Much better. Let's talk about interest, shall we? And just, you know, get the ball rolling with a conversation. There we go. Do you like swimming? I don't think she likes swimming. The answer is no, she does not like swimming whatsoever. Let's have another conversation, shall we? We could always turn on the uh, jukebox as well, just to get some music playing, so that they can have a dance. He doubt. You he do like parties, out. though. I'm pretty sure everyone that Dave has talked to likes parties. Apart from Bob. But then again, not many people like Bob, do they? Alright, and then we'll uh, have this turned on. They could have a dance and improve that fun stat, and then who knows what might happen. This has now got up to 65, which is good. We need to get this up about another 35 points, all the way up to 100. And then we'll get some more interesting options that we can uh, do. Alright, we'll just uh, let time go forward a little bit, and uh, Dog is in quite a good mood himself. There we go! And now we have turned on music! We'll be dancing in a little bit. Actually, why don't we dance right now? Move back away from the jukebox and party on down, Dave! For about five seconds. Actually, let's just turn that off and turn on the television. The jukebox was a silly idea. There we go, we'll just uh, turn this on. Excellent. And watch that for a tiny little bit, and uh, we might as well fill that up soon. More adventures of Yeti Man! And Yvette is most certainly uh, appreciating the fact that there's a sink in here now. Excellent. Why don't you come and watch TV? And get that uh, fun stat all the way up to maximum. They may even have a conversation. And maybe it won't be a terrible conversation. There we go, they're uh, certainly talking. Are there going to be positives? Or are there... Ooh, the phone is going. That's probably to say that we didn't uh, go to work, which is not great. Alright, I think that's a negative. Yep, that's a negative. We really need to uh, stop having a conversation here and just fill up the bowl instead. There we go. Just ignore that phone. It's not important whatsoever. And that phone call was somebody saying that Dave had seven million simoleons wa wa just waiting for him. And he missed that opportunity. Completely. Ah, oh, well. It may probably uh, more likely have just been uh, work saying that he missed work. I think that's much more likely. Why don't you grab a slice of pizza, eh? Why not? You know, it almost seems like she just lives here with the fact that she's uh, just watching television. We should um, have a conversation, I think. Why not? Actually, we're, we were going to have another interaction there with Dog, but that didn't happen at all. 
There we go. And they have a conversation about parties right in front of Yeti Man. Because why not, eh? We'll definitely turn that off afterwards. Definitely turn that off. Uh, we may even give a hug here. Why not? Hugs are always a good thing. Apologies for the interruption there, let us resume. I've just decided to uh, turn off the television here, and then for Dave to give Yvette a hug. Will it work? We're going to find out. It may not work. The only way to find out is for it to happen. There we go. Will it work? It will work. What about an intimate hug? Will that work? Yes, that will work. Alright, let's uh, have a little bit more of a conversation, and then... <laughs> what else could we do? Oh, we could give a uh, a kiss here. That could work. A polite one? Yes, let's have a polite kiss here. While they talk about technology. Dave certainly does like technology. After all, he has an absolutely massive television. Literally right next to them. But they don't like computers. But they do like parties. Definitely like parties. It's always a good choice to talk about parties, that's for sure. It's only one o'clock, and uh, Dave is starting to get really tired. If there's one thing that this game doesn't do well, it's the fact that uh, energy goes down way too quickly in The Sims 1 compared to other Sims games. I think that interaction is going to work. And we're going to have a look here. Ah, that has now changed for uh, Dave into a... Uh, Fully red heart. So that means that there is a uh, more powerful form of uh, romantic connection than just a crush. There is love, and that is what he is feeling right now. And there is a uh, proposition here, and that is marriage. Marriage is indeed something that you can uh, propose when you have that uh, fully red heart there. Maybe we should actually try another kiss, like a romantic kiss. It may work, it may not work. If it doesn't work, he may actually lose that uh, fully red heart. But it's a risk that Dave is going to take, because Dave is a risk taker. The riskiest of risk takers. Will it work? We're going to find out in a moment. The answer is, I think it will. There we go, that interaction did work. Also, um, your arm is a little bit away from where he is. That definitely worked. And there is a lot of pluses there. A lot of pluses indeed. Time to talk about interest some more. Definitely time to talk about interest a little more. And then have another slice of pizza. Because why not, eh? That is now a 75 long-term relationship. That is a really good and a strong relationship. There we go, just eat a little more pizza here. I think actually you need to go and use that, because, uh... Let's just say that her bladder is quite low now. Very low indeed. You're gonna grab that last piece of pizza, aren't you? How very, very sneaky of you. And we're just going to go and get rid of this right now while she goes to uh, wash her hands, because after all, pizza is very greasy indeed. And then we're going to go into here and just sort of wait around and uh, just wait for Yvette to return. Whenever she does return, that is, we could, um, I don't think a uh, call over is an option there, so we're just going to, uh, we could just sit down. Sitting down is not bad, it will help improve his comfort, and she's come back into the room, which is, uh, where are you going? I have no idea where you're going. We could ask her to uh, sit down, that's probably a better thing to do here, because, uh, then she'll be, uh, in the room, and, uh, room is fantastic in this, uh, in this room. All uh, right, we could, uh, there we go, she's just going to sit down over there, and actually she's not going to sit down at all. We'll just uh, have a conversation instead. Why not? If we can actually get to her. The uh, television here is providing an obstacle. All right, there we go. One conversation. And I don't think she wants to have that conversation whatsoever. Not even slightly. So we'll have a uh, different conversation instead. There we go. That is a much better conversation. Also, uh, that mood is now at 77, which is quite good. I think we'll uh, try another kiss here. It may not work. Her mood may be uh, too low now. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to try. Also, 77, that is a really good long-term... Uh, long-term... Uh, relationship score. I don't think I've had one that's actually higher. I don't think I have at all. It's safe to say, though, they know each other quite well. We definitely need to work on that social for, um, 
Aha! Now that is at a red heart as well. That is really good news. She also is in love with Dave. It's safe to say that this relationship is very strong indeed. Very strong. There may in fact be, um, there may in fact be wedding bells in the future, at some point. But for now, she is, uh, the needs there are a little bit low, so I think we're just going to, uh, say goodbye here. After all, it is very, actually, let's just say goodbye by, uh, shaking hands here, because saying goodbye with a kiss here could backfire horribly. There we go. And I think we need to work on that fun stat just a tiny bit. We most certainly need to work on... Uh, yep, she was very tired indeed. We also need to work on uh, that comfort stat as well. We'll definitely need to uh, interact with Dog as well tomorrow. But today has been a pretty good day. That relationship has gone up to 81. And now they are no longer just um, having a crush on one another. They are in love. Which is great. It is very great indeed. Things are going very well. I think it's time now for them to, um, let's see, just have you uh, turn that off there. I think it's time for them to start thinking about the next step in their relationship. There is only one more step in that relationship, and that step is marriage. It is a very big step, though. A very big step indeed. And it would seem that uh, Dog and Dave's sleep schedule are entirely out of sync with one another. Something's happening, but as usual, we'll never know what that something actually is. It is a mystery. Alright, is he, um... I think that energy stat is, uh, there we go, a little bit more. And it's time for you to get up and greet the day. And, uh, breakfast now, and then that, and then this, and, uh, then you're going to interact with Dog some more. If Dog actually stays awake. Dog may not actually stay awake. He may not. He is, after all, very, very tired. All right. Time for you to get up, Dave. I know it's very, very early. But you have things that you need to do. There we go. Starting with breakfast. The earliest of breakfasts. Actually, I have had Sims have earlier breakfasts, like at one or two in the morning. Some of the jobs start really, really early in the day. All right, you just uh, have that, and uh, I think Dog is soon going to go to sleep, which is not good because his um, his social stat is really low. Really low indeed. Is he going to go to bed? He is going to eat, which is uh, good because we may actually uh, catch Dog before he goes to bed. Let's see. No, Dog is uh, not going to bed just yet, which is uh, good. We'll, uh, I think, uh, pet Dog a few times after, and immediately Dog just stays perfectly still while we uh, wait for that interaction to happen. Actually, we should probably just let Dog sleep. Probably just let Dog sleep, because Dog is very, very tired. Very tired indeed. It won't be that long before uh, Dave has to go to work anyway. What will we have Dave do right now? Many things that Dave could do. We'll actually have him uh, just practice his speech in the mirror, because why not, eh? <coughs> why not? He has a spare hour or two. Let's just to have him improve his skills a bit. The skill that is easiest to improve. There we go. And that is pretty much sorted. We'll have him uh, go outside and uh, kick the flamingo! Because why not? He'll kick the flamingo! For luck! Will he be lucky? Well, his mood is really not that great when he's out here, that's for sure. That room is really, really low. Really low indeed, and what a surprise, Dog is now awake, and will most likely immediately fall asleep as soon as Dave gets home. That's, uh, yep, Dave is now home, and Dog is, actually, Dog's energy is pretty high. So we'll just, uh, wait for Dog to come by, and then they can interact with one another. Also, we really need to, um, not surprisingly, Yvette and Dog don't know each other whatsoever. Alright, here you come, Dog, to say hello. Hello, dog. How are you? Things went really well with Yvette. Really well, indeed. Yvette may be staying over for longer than just a few hours in the future. She may be staying forever. Alright, is that a dog or is that a different dog? We're actually going to uh, just play with dog for a bit here. We'll uh, pet a few times. Ah, it is a different dog. It is Spike. We do not want to interact with Spike. We want to interact with dog. You should leave, imposter dog. We have no desire to interact with you whatsoever. 
There we go, a few more of these. I've, ah, relieve self is an option. It has a question mark there. Curious. And I've no idea why you ran over there. Ah, well. And I think we, um... There we go, there's that interaction as well that was completely forgotten, apparently, by Dog. There we go, just pick up Dog there. And, uh, your social is now pretty high, which is great, and I think, uh, playing with, uh, Dog one more time will ensure that that is, uh, pretty much near maximum. Marvellous. And then we're going to, uh, ring events just to say hi before we go to sleep once more. There we go, just to keep this relationship even, um, well, even higher than it already is, because, uh, it could be at 100. There we go, and maybe the long-term relationship will go up as well. Even if it goes up by one point, that is fantastic. Also, I have no idea why you went into the room. If you could leave Buzz, that would be fantastic. But, maybe come back, folks. Dave will continue to work on uh, his relationship with Yvette, that is at 100 in the positive, and uh, 81 in the uh, long-term positive. Ooh, the phone is going! Why don't you go and answer that? Hopefully you get out of bed fast enough, because otherwise that is just going to, uh... There we go. go. Oh, you did not get out of bed fast enough whatsoever. And apparently you are now too awake for you to actually go back to sleep. Ah, well, it was close, eh? Very close indeed. So I'll catch you next time, folks. For when we come back, uh... He actually really needs to ring Samuel. We shall have him ring Samuel eventually. When we come back, folks, Yvette and Dave will continue to talk. And who knows, maybe the conversation will steer to marriage. Maybe. Maybe. I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Dag, dag.